The test is modeled after the largest known landslide in the Triangle. It happened over 10,000 years ago. It's about 190 miles long and about 30 miles wide. It could have released a huge amount of gas. The underlying theory is that bubbles reduce the density of water, with deadly consequences for anything floating on the surface. We have here a demonstration where the water in this column represents the waters of the Bermuda Triangle, and this little boat represents a ship that might get sunk. And as we put the boat in, we can see that it uh, floats nicely. And when I blow through this tube, that will simulate a massive release of methane from the seafloor. What just happened was we created a mixture of air and water, which is actually less dense than water alone, and that could no longer support the weight of the boat, so the boat sank. It's one thing sinking a small toy, but will the effect scale up in open water? So they tell us this was a uh, really good, really good sailboat in its day. Yeah. And was uh, almost unsinkable. Yeah. So I guess we'll be testing that. It's quite an exciting time, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. The team is on the verge of solving one of the biggest mysteries of the triangle. Right, this is it. OK. I'll pick this one. Take that one. And I'll take that one. Cool. All right, we're starting to see some bubbles. some of our nozzles inward to concentrate the bubbles directly yeah. under the boat. 